Google Trends was recently updated with their Trending Now report, which shows you the hottest trends over the past seven days. Now, this is great data to look at when brainstorming all types of content. But keep in mind that Google Trends does not tell you the whole story when it comes to actual search volume. If you want to see which terms are not only trending, but also have a good amount of search volume, then the only way to unlock that is with keywords everywhere. Now let me show you this very powerful feature. So the Trending Now report was recently launched in Google Trends and it shows you some very helpful information. So it shows you the hottest trends that have been trending over the past 24 hours up until the past seven days. And it also includes some additional helpful information like the search volume, uh, when the trend started, including the trend breakdown that shows you some additional terms related to these topics. And you could also check out the latest news about the topics as well and see these helpful uh, line graphs to see when the trend uh, peaked over the past uh, 24 hours or you know you could look at the past seven days and see the trend over the past seven days for all of these topics. Now, this is an excellent report to look at if you want to know the latest uh, breaking news in pop culture and sports and so forth. But I know many of us do use Google Trends to figure out what topics to possibly uh, write about for our blog. And usually we would go to the explore tab and type in a variety of search terms just to see which search term is the most trending and has the most interest over time. So let's just say, for example, we are searching between these three SEO tools, SEMrush, Ahrefs, and Moz. So over the past five years, we could see that these three SEO tools, for the most part, have been uh, neck and neck. There was a lot of activity back in 2022 and Moz did have uh, the most interest. But more recently, it looks like SEMrush does have the most interest, followed by Moz, then Ahrefs. And when you look at this line graph, another interesting point is that back in August of 2023, we do see a sharp drop off in interest for Ahrefs. But for the most part, these three SEO tools are pretty neck and neck. Now, this is great, but if you want to really see what topics are truly highest search, you need keywords everywhere because this interest over time graph only tells you part of the story. If you read the explanation, it says these numbers represent search interest relative to the highest points on the chart for the given region and time. So this line graph is relative to the highest point um, in this chart. But when we are planning out what topics to write about, we do need more accurate data like search volume. So that's where Keywords Everywhere comes into play. So I'm going to turn on my Keywords Everywhere browser add-on and I'm going to refresh this page and we have some new data on this page. So we have the trend data from Keywords Everywhere. Now this trend data shows you the actual weekly search volume over the past uh, time period that you've selected for your search terms. So comparing the Keywords Everywhere trend data graph with the Google Trends graph graph, the data tells you a completely different story. The blue line, which is SEMrush, is clearly the winner in terms of actual weekly search volume over the past five years. And more recently, the difference between SEMrush and the other two tools is quite significant. And if you want to see the percentage differences compared to the past year, we can see that SEMrush increased uh, 6% compared to the past year. And both Ahrefs and Moz showed a pretty significant drop in terms of search volume over the past year. So this line graph gives you a much more accurate picture of what people are actually searching. So if you were to write a blog article, you would clearly make the decision to focus your blog article on SEMrush because that is the search term that people have been actively searching much more frequently than Ahrefs and Moz. And you wouldn't necessarily come to that conclusion by looking at the interest over time graph from Google Trends, right? Because we could see, for the most part, these three search terms have been uh, pretty 
neck and neck. So if you want to use Google Trends data to see what's trending right now, I highly recommend you take a look at the trend data from Keywords Everywhere so you can get a much more accurate depiction in terms of the search volume for the search terms that you are analyzing. So use Google Trends in conjunction with Keywords Everywhere to do much more holistic and accurate research. Now with that said, hopefully you thought this video was helpful. If you did, let us know by hitting that like button and also subscribing to our channel. If you want to check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. Thank you and we will see you in the next one.